Welcome to Women, no, sorry, this is God Power Live with Naima. Hello, I am live now. This is God Power Live with Naima, where women gods come to connect with their likeness and refine our emotions so we can do what we came here for. I am here for those of us who know that our calling, our lives require our full forbidden power. Our full forbidden power. Today's topic is, let me find it on my screen. By the status quo, whoever that is who asked me forbidden, the status quo. So the topic today is let's play truth telling games dissolve, I was supposed to say tension, dissolve tension and play. I repeat, today's topic is let's play truth telling games, which allows us to dissolve tension in our jaw, tension in our bodies, in our neck, in our back, in our wombs, in our feet. And um, that's what today's topic is. So I'm live on Facebook and here on TikTok. So for the rest of January, okay, for the rest of January, I will be here on TikTok and here on Facebook every weekday at 4 p.m. Pacific. I'm trying something out. Usually I'm here at 8 a.m. Pacific every weekday. And starting today and for the rest of January on the weekdays, I will be here and on Facebook at 4 p.m. Pacific with a different topic. So again, I am in the business of, what, that, what does that mean for those of you who are new here? I have been coaching and mentoring online for 12 years, 12 years, okay? May of 2011, my first piece of content went up. I got my first paid client in I think November of 2011. And since then I have grown my own coaching business. Now I'm mentoring, so I'm not, uh, I'm not into coaching, okay? My thing now is mentoring. And I work with helping women gods, powerful women, leaders, visionaries, uh, and even women who don't necessarily want to be public facing, but know that they have vast power. They're done with hiding. They're done with playing small. They're done with forgetting who they are. They're done with all the sickness that comes with not being in her full power. They're done with, um, and I could go on and on, but they are done with that and they want to build profitable, influential platforms online. They want to have deep fulfillment and do this all the feminine way. So they want very influential businesses. They want um, more so the personal. It's, it's so inside. And another thing is, uh, I am here for 15 minutes. Now that could fluctuate, <laughs> but that is the time, 15 minutes that I am here. Okay. All right. Let me do some scrolling around here because, um, I can read things better when I flip the TikTok screen one way and then da 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 da. So this topic of let's play truth telling games uh, is really like a, just to lay it down because I'm inviting you into, those of you who this is for, right? The women, uh, into feminine quarters, feminine quarters. So what does, what is this? How does this look? What is truth telling games? So inside of a former community of mine, we used to play a truth telling game. What did that look like? We would all gather on Zoom and we would start to tell the truth about different things as it relates to whatever that woman's thing was, right? So we're women who live all throughout the United States. I think there was one woman there from the United Kingdom. So we live all throughout the United States and every woman was here for her full power. So we would start with something that you're either challenged by or something that you have great desire around. So let's use an example here today, okay? So um, I'll use myself as an example, just to show, start, show how this works and how you can do this with people in your life who 
you really want them to know you. Okay, you got to really want these people to know you uh, and particularly know the parts of you that are not desirable. You want these and why do you want them to know? Well, because you want to be free first. This is less about other people. Thank you for sharing the live stream, Divinely Chosen. Thank you for liking the live, Big Mama. So this is less about you want them to know you, even though you do. That's definitely part of it, right? But the first line of order is you. So the first line of order is you want to be free. You want to be feel, fulfilled. You are already financially successful. Okay. You, you already, by other people's measurements, you already are successful. Okay. You already are accomplished. Um, you're beyond surviving. Okay. Um, and what's important to you now is fulfillment. Okay. You've, and fulfillment looks very different to each woman, but you're ready for that. Now you're strong, you're aggressive. You know what I mean? You're, it, <laughs> you know what I mean? People know not to fuck around with you. Like, right. So you do that part very easy and you really want to soften now more. You really want, because with the success you've already created, in order for you to double that or triple that, it's not going to come from pushing stronger and harder and working harder. And it's not going to come from that. And you know that, right? Because you've already sort of knuckled your way into the multiple six figure, seven figure mark or wherever you are. Maybe you're at 150,000. Who knows, right? But you've already worked hard, right? Now you put systems in place, you put structures in place, you got things in place. So things are still working hard. It's not just not necessarily you doing all the heavy lifting. And now it's like, one, the power that I know that I am, my husband doesn't even know it yet. I've yet to even really see it. Okay. So we're going to play this game here in a moment. Just hold on. I'm, I want to, you need to see, I want some context here, right? My husband doesn't really know the full power that I am. I don't even know yet, but I want to like make sure that my marriage can like thrive still with me being in my full power. Um, the internet, man, folks be tripping on the internet and you know, how much of myself can I bring to the internet? And then my work requires that I bring my full self to the internet because the products and service that I sell work in a real vulnerable, tender place of transformation. Like this one client I have who helps people with getting their money together. And she's like, it's not about the money. It's about the emotion and the feeling behind the money. So she needs to talk about the emotion and the feeling, which means she needs to be in that. And that's part of where her power lives, the power that she doesn't know about herself yet. And that's why we're working together. And so I use her as an example, but replace it with what you got going on. Right. So it's like, and I want to be fulfilled as I do this. I want to know what does it look like for me to be a feminine woman who runs a multiple six figure and seven figure business? Like, how does that actually look? How does that feel? Who am I in it? Who needs to be added to the team? Do I want to talk about these things? I'm scared of being played. Like, that's a big one too. Like, cause you know, people, you, people equate femininity with weakness and then people try to come in like all that. Right. So I just laid that down so you can get an idea of some of the inner chatter and some of the conditions for women who are beyond survival. Okay. Thank you for those hearts. <laughs> right. Cause I, I, I get a lot of, um, a lot of people on TikTok are just fucking around and they just show up to free shit cause they can. Um, and I've had way too many broke girls in my DMs or like, what are you doing here? What made you think I was for you? You know what I mean? Um, and so I'm, I'm saying this. So anybody listening to me right now, <laughs> okay. I work with financially successful, accomplished women who are far beyond trying to get their next client, trying to figure it out, complaining about the economy. <laughs> this shit goes in cycles. You live long enough. You know that. Okay. So now I'm using myself as an example in this truth telling game. So what can I share? So uh, I haven't thought this through much, so I'll, we'll go and we'll see what happens. So 
the power that I know that I can help women with is so foreign to the lived experience of not only women, but definitely to black women. Uh, a black woman in her full sensual power is so rare. It is so rare. A black woman who explores far outside of her comfort zone is very rare, okay? A black woman who um, is, you know, master alchemist is very rare, okay? Uh, a black woman who is um, uh, dynamic in the inner, her inner landscape, very experienced with her inner landscape and how that happens is because she has a vast variety of experiences out in her actual life that run the gauntlet of identity, right? Like what I mean by that is, let's say your familiarity is wife and mom. And I don't know, maybe you work in corporate. Let's say that's your identity, wife, mom, corporate manager. And that's been what you've been doing for 15 years. That's, that's like how you do life. And anything outside of that, you never touch. So you never develop, you never become anything more. That's how women get 50 years old. They don't wanna be married anymore. They don't like themselves, but whatever, right? And so this woman who I'm talking about and the power that I know that my company is here for, because this is really pioneering work, what we're doing, it's, ex it's truly exceptional. And perhaps I'll have time to share about an exceptional nature-based thing that happened today that's lovely. So, the power that a woman would come into me working with me, come into working with me, would have her live a variety of experiences in her real life that would open up her identity of what she's used to. Because the power that she's looking for is outside of just her wife role, is outside of just her mother role, it's outside of just her corporate manager role, right? That's a very narrow, limited experience in life. So that means she only has access to a limited amount of power. That's it. So when she comes to me and she's looking to do something vast, like let's say she's already at 200,000 a year and she wants to go to a million, we're talking about an energy game, right? Which means there's decisions that she needs to make about getting rid of things, adding things. And while it may seem easy, just do that, do that, do that. How she feels about it based on her identity of corporate manager, identity of wife, identity of mother, the decision she would have to take exists outside of her comfort zone of everyday living, okay? So working with me, she starts to have experiences outside of her comfort zone because then she gets the experiences, the parts of her that, that is in her, she just hasn't experienced it yet, okay? It's in her, she just hasn't experienced it yet. And like what would make, what would make it even difficult for her to do this is how she feels about it which is why the opening of God Power Live is, we're here every weekday for women gods to connect with their likeness, refine our emotions so we can do what we came here for. It's not the thing, it's how we feel about the thing. It's not what they said, it's how we feel about what, we, what they said. It's not about what's going on, it's about how we feel about what's going on. You remove the feeling, none of this, this is nothing. This stuff around here is nothing. So, so for I'm saying all that to say that who I am is so exceptional that when people meet me, they don't know how to engage with me. Now, that's fine. Where it becomes like, oh, fuck, what am I going to do is when it's time for me to hire somebody. So a truth for me is um, it's difficult. And this is not the most, this is not even the most powerful thing I could do here and now, but it's not meant for the public. So I'm not going to go there for the public. But it's true that I have difficulty with hiring people. Why? Because I need somebody here that can really flow with however and whatever on any given day. And I don't know who has emotional range, experiential range in their real life. And I know this person exists. So again, this is not the best example. I know this person exists. I just haven't fully opened myself up to hiring somebody for a very specific role in my company. Okay. So let's say we're playing a truth telling game inside of feminine quarters, which by the way, details are with the link in my bio on TikTok. And they're with the link with this video. It's called feminine quarters. We're going to be meeting for seven consecutive Tuesdays starting next Tuesday on zoom. And it's for rich 
sensual, I'm gonna read about it in a minute. I have the details I'm gonna read about it or you can go read about it, it's in the link of my bio. So if I'm playing a truth telling game, we're all on Zoom, right? We're all looking at each other, we're on camera, we're all present and I come and because one of the things that we're doing is we're sharing either something that's burdening us or something that we're working on that requires our courage and our power and for us to think different and be different, right? And I bring this forward as one of the participants in Feminine Quarters. I'll say, listen, I'm really weird. I'm strange. Because I am. By a lot of people's measurements, I'm strange. I'm, I'm, you know, I had one woman be like, mm, I've never met anybody like you. Or another woman being like, nah, you different. And this is what we, we don't want this. Like, we don't want people to call us crazy and different. And that's why everybody stays the fucking same. And they end up bored as fuck. Okay. Because to really get to know yourself, you got to get to know yourself. <laughs> what do you think this is? Thank you, Ernest. Ashley says, strange is great. Okay? Like, I love strange. Like, what, what, what the fuck you want around here? What do you want? Like, just tiptoe to... Do you guys... Girl, do you guys... Do you, like, do people, like, really understand they're going to die? Like, I don't get how people don't take that personal. <laughs> because it's a guarantee. Like, nobody actually gives a fuck about what you got going on. They care about themselves. Nobody actually really cares about what you got going on. Unless your presence adds something important to their life. Okay? So, anyway. I would come forward and I would say, look, I really want to hire somebody for this very specific role in my company. But I'm concerned that they're going to quit fast. You know, um you know, I don't know. They're going to create problems. Who knows, right? I, then I'm going to I'm going to depend on them and then they're going to not be able to hang deal with it and then they're going to drop me after 6 months and that's going to create problems again and right? And so this is an example of a topic I may bring forward and so I get to get it out amongst a presence of women who are doing the same and folks get to send, you know, suggestions, we get to talk it out, we get to and again, the space that I'm really creating behind the scenes is something that takes us a lot deeper. Now, this is not very deep, what I just shared, okay? We're, we're in the public. Anybody can be here. I don't know who you are, okay? I'm true. Harvey said true. True what? Um, and, but this is just to give you an example of what it would be like for us gathering um, with, so let me read this so you can get a, a better idea of what's going on. So again, this is called Feminine Quarters. <clears throat> And so basically, so here's what it is. Feminine Quarters is life-giving connection, transformation, and restoration with powerful women who value their full expression, their womanhood, and connection with other powerful women. So we're meeting seven consecutive Tuesdays starting next Tuesday. And here's what we're going to do inside Feminine Quarters. One, we'll play truth-telling truth games to laugh, relate, dissolve tension, connect with one another, and to release. You'll share what's either personally burdening you that you want to transform or what you're working on that's requiring your courage and whole self. I'll share inspiring stories and or wisdom to nurture your divine whole self. We'll engage body softening, pussy relaxing, and heart expanding exercises to prepare your whole self for more of what you want now and for the rest of your life. So I, I want to go off on a tangent for a little bit. I just, I want to go off. I'm curious for those of you who are here now. I'm really curious about this. Thank you for the follow, Tamaria. So I often feel like my content is not landing with people. I often feel like that. My content is not. I get a lot of like, I love your content. But I think people just like it because it's different than what they're used to. You know, they say, oh, it's strong. They say, oh, it's truthful. They say, oh, it's, you know. But the issue for me is I'm not seeing what I want to see in the world. I see it in my own mind, but I don't see it out here. And what I want to see particularly is black women who are emotionally exceptional, who are strange like me, who are so dynamic, who are so alchemized deeply 
that they don't even think the shit that normal people think. They don't even feel and live the shit that normal people feel. And it, as I'm reading this right now, I'm just like, do people even want this? Like, I know what we talk about femininity, but I don't even think people really know what they mean. They don't know, you know, um, I, I even have a client right now and a lot of us, when we talk about it, I can tell we don't really know what it's about. We don't really even know what power is. What I just read here, though, what, what do you guys get from what I just read? I'm just curious. I know we don't, I don't think I know anybody who's here, you know, um, but anybody who wants to share, I'd be curious to hear how you feel. Um, yeah, I'd be curious to hear. And the emotional... When you engage in the alchemy that you would do with me, like seriously, if you stuck around for a while and hired and came in and we worked together over time, the emotional refinement that would happen for you would completely put you in a different category. And it would show, it would just be, you would be in a different category than average women. You know, you, um, you just wouldn't think, you wouldn't be the same in this, the way we constantly defer to deities and defer to these, you know, even other women who we sort of idolize and, you know, whoever we, you might defer to Isis or defer to some Greek goddess or defer to, um, and there's a way that we don't really think that we not, we'd be like, I know I'm powerful, but we don't, there's something missing. And to me, I know what it is, but it's like, am I, I'm like, do people see it, but they're not, cause I feel like way more people should be coming to me. Even my mom was like, I, I, I'm just surprised more people aren't signing up for what you're selling. She's like, I'm just, I'm just surprised. And for a while I told myself, I said, well, mom, what I'm doing is exceptional. I don't expect to have a whole line of people. I'm I'm not, my content is not for the, yes, girl. It, I mean, it's not that kind of content. <laughs> I was telling my mom, you know, it's not, you know, it's, it's just not that. Um, so I've been telling myself that, but then also some years ago when I sort of realized the way that copywriters were playing on the human brain, because that's what copywriting is. It's knowing human nature and playing on dark light, positive, negative, pleasure, pain. I mean, that's what copywriting is. Nobody's gonna pay attention to something unless it's giving them some kind of pleasure or taking them away from some kind of pain. I mean, that's just human nature. What are you laughing at, Ashley? So all copywriting, everything that you see on everybody's website, from Target to a coach, to your hospital, to the dentist, to the anybody who's doing it intentionally is playing on pleasure, pain. And so when I really realized like, wow, um, and that it, that's what makes something irresistible is because it has to pull like that one way or the other, but it also has to be true for you. Like if it pulls, that means it's because it's true for you. Um, and I, would, I remember saying this in like 2020, I was like, some people are just going to have to go through getting like gripped like that before they find their way to me because mine my work really rests at the primal baseline of the human, particularly women. It lies at the primal, beyond sheer pleasure and pain, beyond, right? Pleasure and pain is a part of it, but it's not the foundational. Um, the foundational is a true raw life force. It's, you know, which is, and then from that, everything else offshoots, the pain, pleasure, dark, light, up, down, feminine, masculine, kind of thing, right? So even at the primal level, there is no gender. It's neutral, you know? Uh, let me see. Ashley said, I think a lot of us are missing full, well, right, uh-huh. True, it's tr very true. Um, I just wonder what you guys had to say about what I just read. You know, does that, was there anything in that that resonated, that felt true and urgent for you? Or did it sound or feel, or, should I read it again? So this is what we will be doing inside Feminine Quarters. Listen to this. We'll play truth telling games to laugh, relate, dissolve tension, connect with one another and to release. Does that sound desirable at all? <laughs> or does that sound, you know, 
Yeah, I think, yeah. I hear different things from different women, you know? I hear different things from different women. One woman is like, I want fulfillment and I want to know my my femininity in that fulfillment. Another woman is like, you know, um, she lives with her grandfather who's a pastor. He's very much against her, you know, power and her coming out. And um, she's, she's, you know, she wants to prove that she can take care of herself. And so there's a kind of fight going on. Um, another woman is like, um, she has these super sensual goals and there's a, anyway, I could go on and on. Lisa said, love it. Ashley said, I like it a lot. <laughs> Number two is you'll share what's either personally burdening you that you want to transform or... <laughs> or what you're working on that's requiring your courage and whole self. That's number two. Does that appeal? Does that appeal to either of you? Um, number three is Naima will share inspiring stories and or wisdom, yeah, both. Wisdom to nurture your divine whole self. Hey, Maria. And then number four is we'll engage body softening, pussy relaxing, and heart expanding exercises to prepare your whole self for more of what you want now and for the rest of your life. So I'd like to talk a bit. I'm over time. Fine. Um, I'd like to talk a bit about why body softening, pussy relaxing, and heart expanding is so important. And this is where real feminine lives and why laws were made by the Roman Catholic Church and by another European country, laws were made to destroy you if you ever came into this kind of power that you come into working with me. Laws were made, you need to understand. Men are flipping out today. Half the reason why they're flipping out is because they've been programmed to flip out, okay? So just like you have been programmed, they have been programmed, okay? And so, and so, um, This status quo feeling that a lot of women, especially girls who were raised super religious, um, to feel shame about desire, to feel shame about pleasure, to one of my clients right now who was raised hardcore Baptist, um, sex was just, you know, she was raised as stretched. The sex was strictly for production, reproduction, not for pleasure, not for you know, your enjoyment at all. And so she watched me for six years before she signed up for Shadow Gold. Six years, she said. And for years, she said, and she's not the first one. She'd be like, I was always so disturbed by what you were sharing. So it's like the shattering was happening. Um, and she was like, um, you know, so much of what you were sharing was going against how I was raised as a Baptist. And then I had another woman um, tell me that, you know, my content disturbs her, but she's on my wall every day, every day she's on my wall. She's like, your content disturbs me. Now, I've been hearing this for years, you guys. This is nothing exceptional. I've been hearing this for years. Um, however, that reaction that women are having to my content is that the programming that so many of us walk around with, that men like because it's in their interest, okay? Men... That's why they try to use those tactics to, to break you, you know, like they want to know body count. They talk about just all the things that you hear online, the things that you can even predict that they're going to say when you show up another way, right? show, show up a certain way online. And it's in their interest for you to be disempowered because then they can have access to you. When you don't know that you're a walking fortune, when you don't know that you're a walking jewel, and you, in deep inside yourself, have feelings of insecurity, low value. You you don't really understand your feminine power. That means a male can come approach you. And because you feel inferior at a level, you're much more likely to let him in. And that's what he wants. He wants to fuck you and he wants you to give him food. That's the base nature of males. 
to fuck you and for you to give them food. This is, y'all know this is not my feeling about this. This is factual, okay? That's what most males want from you who are interested in you in that way. So this power that you would be, you actively want or something in you is sort of pulling you that way, but you haven't put language to it yet. And you come over here um, and this is, I oftentimes feel women sort of like the woman I described earlier. They're like hovering. I feel that a lot too. I feel a lot of hovering. <laughs> I want to come in, but oh, what does that mean? But oh, <laughs> oh, I feel a lot of that coming in. And this is why I've said many times, and I'm saying it again here and now that what we're doing over here is so pioneering. It's so, you know, anti-status quo. It's so um, um, it's forbidden in many, many ways. It's forbidden. And yet it's what every, not every, I shouldn't say every, because many women are, no. But it's what you, any woman who wants to make a difference, who wants a big impact, who wants to make more money than she ever has and keep it, multiply it, any woman who truly wants to help humanity, who wants to transform, who wants to play a big game, she has to come into her base nature. She has to come home to her base nature, um, which is first of all primal, and then right above that is sensual, okay? Uh, inclusive of and right above that, which uh, is another gradient. This is very advanced. So, you know, just base nature, right? So the base nature, the primal, and then it's, it enriched with love. When a woman is in her base nature, everything she does is loving. Everything she does is loving when she's in her base nature. Now, it's not gonna look like that to the outside world because the outside world has very clear ideas of what they feel like a woman is supposed to look like. You need to look like this. You don't talk like that. Women do like this. You act like that. You All riddled with the limitations that fit in the way that we want women to fit. So she acts and behaves like us, which at the end of the day, they just want access at, at, at the end, the whole, and for you to do what they want you to do. When I say they, I mean the whole system of things that got us here. All right, enough on that. And the reason why I say here on number four of Feminine Quarters, which you can sign up with the link in my bio on TikTok or with the link with this video here on Facebook. The reason why I say we'll engage body softening, pussy relaxing, and heart expanding exercises to prepare your whole self, your whole being, your whole body for more of what you want now and for the rest of your life is because one, you're not going to be able to get it whatever it is for you, the money, the house, the international travel, the whatever, and keep it in a way that's fulfilling, right? You wanna be fulfilled by what you're doing is if you come home to your sensual self, preferably your primal self first, because that's always where I'm gonna guide you. Shadow gold is my master course. You need to be in that thing pronto to begin with. Um, however, this right here, Feminine Quarters, is a good start. So we're meeting for seven consecutive Tuesdays, starting next Tuesday, 5 p.m. Pacific on Zoom.